In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Quixel Bridge Mega Scan Assets directly in SketchUp using this awesome plugin called Transmuter. Let's go. All right, so before we proceed to the future tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Quixel Mega Scans because we're going to use some assets and materials from Mega Scans library. So you need to search for Quixel Mega Scans and then click on Quixel Mega Scans to open it up. And then you need to click on subscribe to create a new account. Click on begin for free. Add in all your details and then sign in with your Epic Games account. So I'm going to sign in. So once you sign in to Quixel, you get an option to download the Quixel Mega Scans software, also known as Quixel Bridge. So click on Bridge to open it up and click on Download Bridge. So once it's downloaded, you can open the setup and then go ahead with the installation instructions. I would suggest that you download and install the setup in another directory so that your C drive is always free with a lot of space. So I already have Quixel Bridge installed, so I'm going to open it up. So this is Quixel Bridge and it comes with a lot of awesome assets and materials which a lot of 3D artists are using now and are able to create amazing renders with. And now because of Transmitter, you can bring these Megascan assets into SketchUp. So I'm going to show you how to connect Quixel with Transmitter. So you can just click on any material here. And it shows up here on the right with the various options. Now what I'm going to do is next to 2K resolution, we have the settings button. So click on that and click on export settings. Now in your export target, it would be defaulted to Unreal Engine. Just scroll down and click on custom socket export. Now you need to copy the socket port from your transmuter and paste it here. So I'm going to open Transmuter, which also comes as a standalone application and also as a plugin in SketchUp. So open Transmuter, go to settings. And then when you scroll down, you'll find a Megascans bridge socket port. So copy this and then paste it here and go back. So once you pasted it and you want to bring a certain model into Transmuter, all you need to do is click on download. It will download the model and then you can export. So once you click on export, it shows export successfully and it shows up in your transmitter. Now, transmitter helps convert your OBJ 3ds Max files into dot SketchUp files and they give you options as well. So what I do generally is simplify the mesh so that the object is not too heavy. So I'm going to drag the slider to the right a bit to around 77%. Check the materials as well. The materials come with the uh, Mega Scans library and then I simply click on transmit. So once you click on transmit, you get an option to save this SketchUp file. I generally save it in the download folder of Quixel Bridge. In case you want to locate this download folder, simply go to Quixel Bridge, click here and click on go to files. So now you know the location of where your Quixel Bridge assets are located in your system as well. So in this case, it's located here. Now if I want to use the same location, here's a quick hack which you can do, which I learned in my previous company. Simply click here. Copy this directory or location. Go back to your transmitter. Click on transmute. And then paste the location here. So I'm going to paste it and press enter. So you can see that it's come to the correct location. And then simply click on save. So it's transmuted the object. And if I open SketchUp now. And paste that directory. You can see that we have a SketchUp file. Open it up. And you can see that we have our object here as well. And these are ready to render models, which you can directly place in your SketchUp scenes. So we will be placing some pavers, some side road curbs, and a whole lot more from Quixel Megascans. So in the next video, we will be adding some models and more into our scene. All right, guys. So I hope you liked this video. This video was taken from the complete SketchUp and V-Day course for interior design and architectural design. You can check out the courses on Udemy or on our website as well. Link in the description. Please do subscribe for more such videos. I'll see you guys in future videos. Cheers.